Tim Holly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com here in Seattle at the podium. Brought to you by Amsoil. Well, Justin Barsa, Oof. round two you win. You get that whole shot. You collect $1,500 from Nuclear Cowboys. You do it again here, round 15 in Seattle. Carbon copy. I mean, you get that whole shot and you kind of check out. So crazy. You know, the, the whole shot is so key these days with this class. It's so stacked. Both Ryans are, you know, on the gas. And there's uh, it, it's hard to beat those guys. They're showing so fast. So definitely uh, starts are key out here. The track was super crazy tonight. A lot of ruts. It was definitely tough in some of the rhythms to get through there. Whoops were challenging, some kickers on the jumps, and uh, it was definitely one of my favorite tracks of the year for sure. It was, uh, you know, just felt really comfortable out there. My bike worked really good. The whole the whole Honda team tonight, uh, you know, got the bike dialed. We made a few little changes, nothing huge, but it was uh, definitely for the better, and we had a lot of fun tonight. It's been a while since we've seen you on the podium. I mean, you've been right there, force and fists, and, you know, I don't know what you had, you know, a couple force, a couple yeah. fists, you've been right there. But that, that start, I mean, you know, everybody says how, you know, I talked to you once, I remember back in Oakland, yeah. I was at the starting gate with you, and you said, hey, it's 90% of the race. I would say 95% these days with these guys. It's so, it's so critical, you know, if you don't get a good start, you're not going to pass the fastest guys in the world when you're in the back of the pack. So definitely uh, starts are key, and, uh, you know, just got to get out there and put in. 20 hard solid laps. Did you feel the pressure at one point, Villapoto, uh, put some pressure on you? You probably heard the crowd, you know, roaring a little bit, and you're thinking, oh, man, i got to pick it up. And it looked to me like you changed a few of your lines. Yeah, you know, that's what I was telling some of the guys over here. Uh, I could actually hear his bike. You know, I was going a little deeper and tighter in some lines, and it was kind of bogging me down. And I could hear him carrying his speed just kind of brrr. And, you know, somehow it's weird you hear that. I don't know how you hear that, but uh, I switched my lines up a little bit. And uh, definitely that made a big change for me out there on the track tonight. You going to call Jeff Stan? Yeah, I'm going to call Stanton and say, where are you at, dude? <laughs> it was awesome, and I just can't thank the whole Honda Muscle Smoke team enough. We had an awesome night. You know, give me a, a little bit of perspective on, on uh, the season so far. I mean, you know, you've won the championships in the 250 class, yeah. and that's only about an eight-race series. You're already in uh, race 15. How are you holding up? Uh, it's definitely challenging, you know, riding the 250 class half season, you know, get two months off and stuff. and. Uh, it's challenging. I have a lot of respect for these 450 guys. You know, it takes a toll on the on the mind and the body. You know, all the traveling and uh, working out and you know all the extra races. So definitely been a challenge, but working through it. And I feel like I'm getting better and better and uh, starting to ride some outdoors now. So that's feeling good. Uh, I think we're gonna have a really good uh, bike for that. And uh, yeah, having fun.